Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk all about my tips and tricks for how to save money when shopping online and to always get what you want. And today's video is really excitingly in collaboration with ShopTagger. So as you guys probably know, I don't have a lot of time to visit a physical store. I tend to do the majority of my purchases online and I really hate having to return things if I can absolutely avoid it. So I'm always trying to make sure that I buy things that I love, that fit me well, and that I can also get for a really good price, which is where ShopTagger comes in. Now ShopTagger is a really incredible tool that can help you to save a lot of money, particularly if you are looking to invest in something that is a little bit more pricey like I generally am. So as you know, I am in the process of trying to, I guess, rebuild my wardrobe in a way. I have a particular style that I'm after and I'm trying to find those pieces that are really going to work with what I have and for me that means investing in a lot more contemporary brands like Acne and Isabel Morant and Tibby, those are the sorts of brands that I'm looking to add into my closet at the moment, but they are a little bit out of my budget at full price. So what I have been doing, particularly now that we're in the midst of sale season, it's just starting to ramp up right now. They've got the initial discounts and I know there are going to be more to come. I've been adding all of the different things that I am looking at and currently thinking of adding to my closet to one of my shop tagger wish lists. So you can create a number of different lists. So you can have shoes, you can have clothing, you can have bags that are all relevant to those particular items and you can save all of the different things that you would like to buy but maybe it's not within your means to buy them at full price and then hopefully they will go on sale and when they do shop tagger will send you an email or if you download the app you can get a push notification to your phone to let you know that the price has been decreased which is absolutely incredible because it means that you can buy that item that you have been eyeing up but you're actually buying it at a fraction of the original cost so what I'm going to do is drop the link for ShopTagger down in the description box below and I highly recommend just going and checking it out. Once you sign up there is a widget that you add to your toolbar and then on any of the sites that they're affiliated with which there is a huge selection so pretty much all the websites that you would even want to shop at are going to be covered and when you find an item that you like you press the button in your widget the shop tagger button and then it will come up with some selections that you make just as if you were making the purchase on the actual website so you select the size the color the style anything like that and then you save it down to one of those wish lists that I was mentioning earlier and the great thing is that you can actually also share these lists with your friends or family or boyfriends if you want to give them a little bit of a hint as to something that you would like for an upcoming birthday or for Christmas which I think is pretty neat and like I mentioned before if the item goes on sale you'll be notified if it actually ends up going out of stock and then your size in that particular item comes back in stock you'll also receive a notification so if you've been lusting after something you won't miss out so I've been saving down lots of things from places like Essence, Matches, net porte Nordstrom, all of that because I know all of their big sales are coming up and I'm hoping to get a really deep discount on some of those items that I think would be key to building up my wardrobe and really fit in and work well with everything that I have uh, but I don't necessarily want to pay full price if I can avoid it. Now my second tip is to shop secondhand, and I think this all comes down to personal preference. I love shopping secondhand. The Real Real is one of those websites that I visit every single day. I add things that I like to my wish list. Obviously, I kind of go through and I edit it down, but it's where a lot of my new pieces for my wardrobe come from. And I wanted to give a quick shout out to one thing that I got, which I actually got brand new with tags. And if you check, a lot of the items on there are brand new, never been worn. But it's this Isabel Morant blazer. And I've been eyeing this up on the outnet. It retailed for 1300 Australian dollars. I managed to get it for $200 brand new with all the tags still attached from Real Real and it's one of my favorite things for the winter season so definitely definitely would suggest checking that out other websites worth looking at are places like Vestia Collective eBay Etsy particularly if you're looking for vintage pieces and I also think Depop is a great marketplace for secondhand items as well 
Really sorry if you can hear the rain outside. It is absolutely pouring down right now. But my next tip is to use the zoom tool and video. So like with when you're purchasing secondhand on somewhere like the Real Real, for example, I would especially recommend zooming in because I have found things like little marks on pieces that are just a deal breaker for me and do not warrant the price or just mean that there's no way that I want to add that item to my wardrobe anymore. Also, when you're shopping on somewhere like ASOS, I know a lot of the things on there can be hit or miss and sometimes you'll receive something and it just is not what you expected it to be. I find that the zoom tool is really great for just getting a closer look at the piece and then watching the video and seeing how it moves on the model really helps me to get an understanding of is the item sheer, is it short, how does it look on her because Sometimes the photos they use are really cleverly shot and can make something look a lot better or a lot more flattering than it actually is. So I really recommend doing that and I found that it's helped me to really narrow down and make much better choices when shopping online. My next tip is to look for reviews, particularly if you're looking at investing in something that is several thousand dollars, I think that you'd be silly not to get an idea as to what other people think. So YouTube is obviously a really great place to start, but I also think having a look at other blogs, I mean if you ever want to buy from Everlane, you guys know that I have done an entire series on reviews of their items, which I will link in the description box below, but I just think that it is such a good way to get a bit of a handle of how something's going to wear, how it works for someone who might have a similar lifestyle to you and how it fits as well. So I usually try and do a little bit of research where I can. I try and see if I can find another person wearing that particular piece that's not the model as well because that sometimes is also a bit of an indicator as to whether or not I will pull the trigger and buy an item. Next, I would highly recommend doing a quick search for discount codes before you make your purchase. So add everything to cart and then do a quick squiz on the internet and see if there are any discount codes lying around. Check the brand's Facebook page and Twitter because sometimes they will do special uh, discount codes on those social media sites, Instagram as well. And I have found that this has saved me so many times. I've been able to get a bit of a discount on my entire order just down to this. So. It's hugely, hugely worth doing that. The other thing that is sort of related that I think is worth mentioning is if you buy something from a website and then it goes on sale within seven days of you making the purchase, usually you can reach out to customer service and ask them if they will honor the sale price if the item is still in stock. I have had this happen to me a few times and generally the customer service will be really helpful and they will honor it. And I would hugely recommend doing this if you end up in that position because it really is the worst thing if you buy something only to find out that it's gone on sale two days later and it's quite frustrating as I'm sure you can imagine. The other thing is price matching as well. So I have found in the past I've been able to buy something from one store where they have my size in stock but had it at a much lower price point than another store where they didn't have my size in stock. So I would also see if they would price match if you've been able to find a better price but maybe that item wasn't in your size in another, in another retailer. Now because we are heading into sale season, I feel like this is a really important point to make, but if something is on sale, only buy it if you'd actually consider paying full price for it. And when I say this, I mean, like I was saying before, all of the items that I've been adding to my shop tag or wish list, maybe I wouldn't necessarily want to spend that much money on it full price, but I would definitely consider it, particularly if it's one of those more investment pieces that I think is going to last my wardrobe for a long, long time to come. Aimlessly searching through the sales section of any website and just adding things to cart purely for the fact that it's on sale is never going to end well. And in my experience, I've usually never ended up wearing those pieces or they've only ended up being an item that I've wanted to wear once or twice. So if you do want to make an investment, I do think it's worth just considering, would you buy it full price? If you wouldn't, maybe just don't go for it. 
And my last tip is to make sure that you check the returns policy. I think this is so important, particularly when you're buying online because like I was saying before, you just don't know how something is going to fit when you receive it. It could be down to maybe it's not the right, I guess, style for your body shape. It's just not flattering. The fabric isn't what you expected. But just make sure that you have a firm understanding of what your rights are when it comes to returning something. If it's a sale item, are you only going to get store credit? And if that's the case, are you happy to have store credit at that retailer? Or are you able to get your full money back? So just make sure you have an understanding of that and also make sure you return the item within that window. A lot of retailers tend to give you either 14 to 30 days to actually return the item once you've received it. So just be quite aware of that. So those are my tips on shopping online to save money and also to make sure that you get what you want and end up with a purchase that you love and hopefully going to keep forever. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and thank you again to ShopTagger for collaborating with me on it. I will see you guys next time with a brand new video. See you soon. Bye.